Warning. This installation must be performed by an industrial licensed electrician. Always refer to the instruction manual during the installation. This video is intended to help you install your phase converter. It is not to supersede any local or state requirements. Step 1. Mounting and connecting the phase converter panel. Mount the phase converter panel to a non-vibrating surface. Install your phase converter as close as possible to the single phase circuit breaker panel. Use the chart given in the installation manual to use the proper single phase wire size. Note, the wire size provided in the manual is good for up to 50 feet. If you need to install the phase converter further than 50 feet away from the circuit breaker panel, make sure to increase the wire gauge by one size larger for every 50 feet. Connect your single phase wire to T1 and T2 labeled on the contactor. Step 2. Mounting the idler generator motor. Install the motor on a flat surface area. Rubber mat is recommended to level uneven surfaces. Step 3. Wiring the phase converter panel with the idler generator motor. First, Run the three-phase wire from the distribution block, labeled L1, L2, and L3, to the connection box of the idler generator motor. Second, your idler generator motor needs to be connected for low voltage. Refer to the diagram, which is located on the nameplate and or inside the connection box of the motor for proper connection. In this example, line one, coming from the distribution block, gets connected with leads one, and seven. Line two gets connected with leads two and eight. Line 3 gets connected with leads 3 and 9. Leads 4, 5, and 6 get connected together. Step 4. Connecting the phase converter panel to the load, machinery, or three-phase circuit breaker panel. Make sure all of your equipment is in the off position. The three-phase wires coming from the machinery or circuit breaker panel need to be connected to the distribution block, L1, L2, and L3 
of the phase converter panel. Note, for safety, properly ground all of your equipment. Now we are ready to test the converter. Warning, if the idler generator motor growls and does not come up to speed within two seconds, turn it off and refer to the troubleshooting manual section 8 and or videos. <laughs> 